I got an extension, a very small extension. You see, it's just barely the length of, of a socket itself. And this was about the right length to be able to fit it way back there in the back and be able to just, you know, crank it on. Um, but that was really difficult to get to. But, uh, yeah, just don't give up. You know, uh, on this side, um, this valve cover, there are two extra. There's actually six. Um, let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so there's six, um, six bolts on top and two on this side. On this side, I said there were five on top and five on the bottom. There's actually six on top and six on the bottom, just like on this side, except this side's got two extra here. Um, let me see. So yeah, uh, all the other ones are fairly easy to get to. All the underside over here, there's a little bit of you know wiggling around. But as long as you undo, as long as you undo this, you can move stuff, and uh, you know be able to move this, you you will be able to get to everything. Pulling the valve cover off was really difficult. Putting it back on was extremely difficult. Um, there just is not enough space. They just have too many pipes and the electrical belt back there that can't be removed, or as far as I know, can't be removed. Um, I looked. <laughs> um, if, this, if this electrical belt could be removed, it would be a whole lot easier. But there's just barely enough space to be able to remove the valve cover. Um, I did not, <clears throat> I did not even try to set up the camera because I was running late and I had to be quick and all that kind of stuff. But putting it back is very hard. Just keep wiggling it around. Be patient. Keep on uh, moving your belt connectors. Pray a little. Um, I know God helped me multiple times while I was very, very frustrated. Um, I lost multiple pieces and <laughs> just had to take a moment and say, God, help me. All right. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a doable job. Um, it's just time consuming. So it depends on how much, how, how skilled you are, what kind of tools you've got. Having, like I said, one of those air compressor ratchets probably would have made the job a whole lot easier, but I'm just using hand tools. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. And something else. Just let me see if I can find the, the gasket. Here we go. So on the gasket. Okay. Um, if you can see it. All right. You see how it's uh, the gasket has this inner rubber ring there. Well, um, there is no way. I I you <laughs> normally I don't know. You may have seen this in the camera. Petroleum jelly. Normally I use Vaseline, you know, petroleum jelly to hold a gasket in place just long enough so I can, you know, slide slide the gasket into position. Well, in this scenario, Vaseline does zero good. It's not you you have to you have to wiggle the valve cover around so much that the gasket would just fall off. Well, thankfully, the engineers of the um, valve cover thought, huh, you know, the, you know, they're saying that it's really hard to stick a gasket back in. So they, the gasket that they make for it now um, has the, have, has these little slits in it that you can fit this, um, let's see, you can fit that inner rubber ring around the washers. You have to smoosh it down. You just push all along the edge like this around the washer and it'll sink below the washer. So the washers will hold the gasket in place. That's very critical. Um, the last people that put in the valve cover, I don't know how they did it. Maybe that was why the valve, the gasket eventually failed, but they, um, they just stuck it on top of the washers and so it wasn't being held in place by the washers um so yeah anyways that that's an important part to getting the gasket in place otherwise it'll just fall off there's so much wiggling and and, and jostling around you've got to do to try to get that valve cover in place that there's no way you could just try to hold it in place with some vaseline now if you had some glue or something i'm sure that would work but uh, this seems a much better way it's just um smush smush this down so that those little flanges inside rubber flange areas 
um, get below the washers so the washers themselves hold it in place. When when you open it up and stuff, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. So that was that was I believe all I had to say. So eight millimeter, eight millimeter. Um, nuts and bolts over here, eight millimeter all here, eight millimeter on that side, two 10, 10 millimeter bolts, and then um, the the metal pipe over here. Um, this metal pipe going down to the bottom, whatever. I have no idea what what that is. I just used a wrench, but everything else was eight millimeter, besides the two on the uh, reservoir. So yeah, it doesn't take a lot of tools. It just uh, takes some patience. And uh, yeah, that's it.